Monarch Aircraft Engineering, the technical arm of the British airline, has its main base at Luton Airport outside London. Here, the company has been working to complete rear spar inspections in response to a service bulletin for Airbus A320 narrowbodies. Since the bulletin was issued in 2010, Monarch has completed inspections on 140 A320 types, mostly for low fare carrier EasyJet, which is the largest operator at Luton. In January, Monarch expects to begin work on EasyJet's 100th aircraft. Monarch's crew chief, Lee McConnellog, talks through the inspections underway on this EasyJet A320. This aircraft, this is a box drop, box drop, arrived in the facility this morning at 8 o'clock. We're six hours into the strip out now, and at that stage we're at around 55-60% strip. And the aim is for the aircraft strip to be completed for 5 o'clock this evening. This gives us any corrosion evidence within the first 10 to 12 hours and allows us to go to Airbus with any findings within the first day. Hopefully at this point Airbus get back to us within the first 18 hours which allows us to a degree to protect our turnaround time. With regard to the strip out, the strip out starts with flying control so spoilers come off, ailerons come off uh, and then we get onto the structural side of things and the structural side are the seal plates that come off along the back of the wing. And what Nick's done is he's taken the aileron off, uh, taken all the associated hardware off, then he's come along and he's going to clean up this underside here. So he'll clean that up all the way along in the aileron section. And that's where we start to inspect for corrosion. And if the corrosion was deep enough, the corrosion extended over this, which is the rear spar, and we'd end up separating the wing skin away from the rear spar remove the corrosion, put the wing skin back down and then put a reinforcing plate along the top if you found this corrosion. Uh, I suppose the interesting point of that is you are actually looking into the inside of the wing and into the fuel tank at that point. They reseal the whole of the area in line with DSB, uh, which calls for an improved sealing procedure and improved sealants. They then go along and re-fasten along the wing. Uh, at that stage, all the flying control starts to go back on. We go through full functions on the flying controls, close up, and leave the hangar. Now, hopefully, that works on a time scale for us on a on a three-day clean aircraft. Or, all inspection complete as well, all timed in map and effective within 18 hours. Uh, final area clean completed in 24 hours. Structural rebuild starting on the 24th hour, progressing through to sort of 36 to 42 hours, depending on progress. You have an amount of cure seal time then and paint seal time, then the flying controls start to go back and we go into final functions. And at that point, you're coming out at around 72 hours. And that's on a, an all clean aircraft. The time spent on each aircraft varies, depending, for instance, on the extent of corrosion found. The rear spar work, for now, is one of Monarch's biggest projects to date, running alongside its line maintenance, base maintenance and spares trading activities.